All right, so this video is going to be uh, taking a look at uh, wow, that doesn't even look like an N. Taking a look at Newton's second law, so Newton's law of motion uh, with angles involved. Okay, so uh, we know that if we were to uh, take a look at a box, okay, and this box is sitting on a table, okay, looks like it's hovering, but we're going to say it's sitting. And uh, we pull this box along with a force, maybe from a string or something like that. So there's a force here, all right? What do we know about this box? Well, this box is, uh, say, 5 kilograms, and we are pulling with a force of 20 newtons, okay? So 20 newtons on a 5-kilogram box. The question is, how, is uh, how much is the acceleration on the box? So we know the acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. So that acceleration would be 20 newtons divided by 5 kilograms, or that acceleration would be 4 newtons per kilogram. Okay. Now, well, newtons per kilogram is not the usual unit that we have for acceleration, but if we remember that a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared, then you can see how the kilogram here will cancel out with the kilogram in the newton, and we'll be left with just 4 meters per second squared. Okay, So that's just basic Newton's laws. Well, what if we take that same box, Okay, here's the same box, sitting on the same table, Okay, and instead of pulling it straight forward, we're going to pull it up at an angle. Okay, So we're going to pull it up at an angle. Here's our force, and uh, uh, that angle is 20 degrees. Okay, 20 degrees. Now we're going to say assume that this force is not big enough that it actually lifts the table off, or lifts the box off the table, uh, but it's just we're still sliding the box along the table. We're just having to pull up at an angle with it. Okay. Well, what direction is the box going to move? Well, the box is going to be moving in this way, and it's going to be assuming that there's no friction involved. It's going to accelerate in this way. Well, our force is not all in that direction. Some of it's going up and some of it's going forward. So there's one of these uh, things where we have an angle, so we're going to have to break that force apart into this, the x part, we'll call it fx, and this, the y part, which we'll call it fy. Okay? But which force are we interested in for the actual acceleration? The acceleration being going to the right, okay, we're going to be wanting the force that's pushing it or pulling it to the right. So fx is the thing that actually contributes to our acceleration. So in this case, A is not going to be F divided by M. It's going to be Fx divided by M. Only the certain part of the force that's actually contributing to the motion of the object. Fy is doing something different. It's trying to lift the box up off the table. Okay, But maybe it's not strong enough to go against uh, the weight of the box, which is the force of gravity that's going down. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so how do we figure out fx? Well, fx, according to this triangle, is the adjacent sign. So it'd be the hypotenuse, which is f, uh, multiplied by the cosine of 20 degrees. Okay, and if we take this force to be the same uh, 20 newtons as it was earlier, okay, then this would be 20 newtons multiplied by cosine of 20 degrees. And if you put that in the calculator, you get 18.8 newtons. So in this case, not all of my 20 newtons is actually pulling the box along the table. Only 18.8 newtons of it is. The rest of it is going to uh, the vertical direction. So if we're going to calculate our acceleration, then our acceleration would be fx divided by mass, and fx is 18.8 newtons, divided by the same 5 kilograms that we had earlier, and our acceleration ends up being 3.76 meters per second squared. Okay, so we have a totally different acceleration. I mean, not totally different acceleration, but uh, it's a less acceleration. We don't have as much acceleration, and the reason for it is because here we were pulling it straight uh, along the table, while on this side, we're not pulling it straight along the table. Some of the force is basically wasted by trying to lift the box, but we're uh, still pulling along the table, just not with as much force along the table. Okay, So there's uh, some other forces that we can 
look at on the box that uh, is sitting on the table. Let's maintain the same color scheme here. Okay, so same box on the table. Okay, let me draw the table. There's the table. So what kind of forces do we have on this box? Well, if we're pulling this way, that would be our force uh, from, let's say, a string or whatever it is that happens to be, just our force that we're applying to it. Okay, we could have uh, the, well, we do have gravity. Gravity pulls things down, so here's our force of gravity, okay? But we also have the a force from the table that would be pushing up on the box, okay? So we have our force from the table, okay? Now, this force from the table is also called something different. It's called the normal force, okay? The normal force, and there's a reason why it's called the normal force, and you should ask me in class, and then way I can uh, tell you then. All right, uh, so these are all the forces that are on the box, but the only one that we care about with respect to the motion along the table is that Fx, okay, Fx going this way, and Fy going this way, okay. Fx is the only thing that is contributing to the motion along the table. Everything else uh, is actually canceling each other out, so the block is not lifting up off the table, it's not being burrowing into the table, it's just uh, sitting on the table. So what happens if we were to put something along a, a ramp? Let's take a, a ramp here. Let's be mean. And here's our ramp. Okay, let me drop that ramp. All right, here's our ramp. And we're going to put our box on the ramp itself. Okay. There we go. Box on the ramp. Okay, now this box is going to slide down the ramp. We're going to assume there's, there's no friction here like what we have in the past. Well, what direction is gravity pulling down on the box? Well, I just kind of gave away the answer there because gravity only pulls down on the box. Okay, so there's our force of gravity. And then we also know that the ramp itself is pushing up on the box. And again, we call that uh, the normal force. I'm going to start labeling it as Fn. Okay, uh, so what is actually pulling the blo uh, block down the, the ramp? You could convince yourself it's gravity. Gravity is what pulls it down the ramp. Anything that's slanted is going to slide down the ramp because of gravity. Gravity pulls on it. Well, is it all of gravity or is it only a certain portion of it? If we break this apart and look at only the section of the force, I'm trying to do that better. Okay, look at only the section of the force that's going with the ramp and then look at the other section of the force, we get a nice little right triangle again. So this right here, we're going to call Fg in the x direction, okay, force of gravity in the x direction. While here, we'll call that force of gravity in the y direction, okay. So uh, this uh, ramp is actually, we can almost kind of consider it as diluting gravity, okay. The entire uh, force of gravity is not actually pulling it down the ramp, only some of the force of gravity, and it's actually this right here is pulling it down the ramp. And FGX, because of where it is, is equal to uh, FG sine of the angle, okay, whatever that angle happens to be, okay. So uh, I'll give you a scenario. I'll give you a scenario. We have our ramp here, really long ramp, okay. We have our block sitting at the top of the ramp, and we have another block that we're going to drop from the uh, same height, okay, same height. So we'll say the centers of the boxes are at the exact same height, okay? If we're going to drop them from the same height, which one is going to hit the ground and why? Uh, excuse me, which one's going to hit the ground first and why? All right? I'm going to leave that to a question for the uh, form at the bottom. All right, I'll see you guys in class. Have a good weekend.